It's a hundred year old sewer. It's the oldest sewer in the city. This particular sewer is under lake level, so it's always submerged. So the only way to do the inspections uh, in the past was to use a diver. Diving in a sewer is dangerous, uh, and we'd prefer not to do that. And my director uh, said, there's gotta be an easier way of doing this. There's gotta be a, something that's a little bit more reliable, safer for, uh, for the staff, and, and you're, you're not sending a person up a pipe. He sort of challenged us to, to do some research and find something, and, and really, in, uh, it didn't take too long to find Deep Trekker. The City of Toronto provided us an opportunity to provide training as well as showcase a Revolution ROV. Because of the dangers involved, as well as the diameter of the 100-year-old submerged pipe, it was virtually impossible to send divers in to do an inspection. Given that this was an active outflow, we had to use an ROV with enough power. The Revolution ROV was more than capable. With the water being very murky, we couldn't do the inspection without the sonar attachment. We've so far been able to go up a section of a pipe that we weren't able to do without the sonar. The murkiness and, and the debris obviously doesn't help because even with the lights on, you can't see anything past a couple of inches. Sonar is essential in, in really trying to figure out where you're navigating. Just getting this training out in the field helps a lot because you can really see it in action, you can lay your hands on it. At this particular training session, we're looking at the sonar unit, and it's great to have that hands-on experience, and uh, Alex has been fantastic. It's really rewarding to be able to train our clients successfully in using the ROVs. They save time and money, uh, their operations happen a lot faster, and their staff are all completely safe. But what's even more satisfying is being able to demonstrate how our world-class robots actually make a difference. The Revolution ROV, equipped with multi-beam imaging sonar, is not only able to navigate in the incredibly murky water, but we can actually identify a specific crack, uh, a very fine crack in a concrete pipe, even though the camera couldn't see anything. What was originally just a showcase and training session turned out to be an excellent demonstration of how this technology succeeds in incredibly harsh environments. With sonar, we'll be able to know if there is any structural issues, if there's any leaks potentially. With the camera feed, we'll be able to see things as you get closer to it. Traditionally, we weren't able to do that. This is solving a problem that's getting us to be more proactive with our infrastructure to know about problems ahead of time before it gets to failure. So when you're utilizing multi-beam imaging sonar on the Deep Tracker system, you actually have a live view of that sonar on the bridge controller. And you can record that sonar data uh, to be viewed in sonar viewing software afterwards. But you can also set it up so that your controller is plugged into a laptop. And then when you're using that sonar viewing software on the laptop, in real time, you can take measurements down to a centimeter of any shape or structure you see in a sonar image. Part of my job is actually to try to put some numbers on the paper and, and actually talk about our, our return on investment. And just with the first generation of this ROV, so I'm talking about the G2 that we got, just on the first generation of ROV, with the one job that we did, we saved over $15,000. But also, like I said, in terms of proactive maintenance, we also know about problems ahead of time. Now on the Revolution ROV, because of um, the added stability on it, with the sonar on it, we're really looking to have in savings for in hundreds of thousands of dollars. We've already looked at a two or three products with uh, Deep Trekker. We're really looking forward to working with Deep Trekker in the future. With the advent of this technology, we can now do it much more safely and quite frankly, cheaper. I think that Deep Trekker is a company that's expanding and, and developing new products that we can really use. So it's, it's gonna be a great partnership.